Everyday Heroes, brought to you by Hendrick Auto Group. Before he started walking, a tragic car accident left nine-month-old Alex Jackson paralyzed from the waist down. That was 31 years ago. Yeah, but not having use of his legs has not stopped him from proving to himself and also to the world that he's a man of many abilities. And that is why Alex Jackson is our everyday hero. It's basically like driving up an airplane, flying an airplane. It's just given me the ability, since I have limited use of my um, arms, I can just use one arm to, to do everything to drive the vehicle. I never felt that I was disabled or different from anyone else when I was growing up. All of my friends included me in activities and teachers and everyone that I was around didn't treat me any differently. So that's been sort of my attitude is just figuring out another way of doing things. It may take me a little bit longer. It may look different than ways other people do it, but I'll still get the, the job done. Alex Jackson was a baby when a stranger's car slammed into his mother's car. My mom and I were coming back from Augusta, Georgia, visiting family, and a driver hit us head on. The other driver was drunk and died in that accident. Sharon Jackson was injured. Alex, nine months old at the time, was paralyzed from the waist down. It caused me to be paralyzed from the waist down. So I have uh, use of my right arm and right hand to be able to do everything from drive my wheelchair to drive my van, feed myself, all of the things that I'm able to do. So I'm really grateful for my abilities. The College of Charleston graduate School of Dolphins oh, wow. yeah. now works for Space and Naval Warfare Systems Command, most often called Space War. And what do you do for Space War? I'm in the public affairs office, also writing stories for uh, Navy news for the U.S. Navy. And when you are not at Spay War working, you work in a different way. It's just a great way for me to give back to the community that's helped me. I've been working with the uh, Mayor's Commission on Disabilities, a part of the uh, Gavalas Kalanko Foundation, which provides disability scholarships for students with physical disabilities. The Disabilities Board of Charleston County, uh, I've been a part of that board for a few years and my mom was actually on that board before I was. So it's kind of neat to sort of continue the family legacy. He shuns attention but is always on the front line. And that's why we believe Alex Jackson is an everyday hero. Do you consider yourself a, a leader in this regard? I'd like to think of myself as helping make a difference. Just change that mindset on, on what's possible when people have different abilities.